Hi, I am Dr. Keshav Sharma, ophthalmologist, Faridabad, Haryana, India. Actually, the topic for today's discussion is welding and its effects on the eyes and body. What I have gathered little information about the welding. What the welding is? The welding is joining of the two metals. But once you are joining the two metals, there may be production of heat as well as light. These, these heat and light, they may damage the body. The damage depends on the intensity of the heat as well as the intensity of the light. Now, question is, how the intensity of these heat and light is determined? That determined by the process of the welding, the metal used in the welding, the experience of the welder, the environment where the welding is being done, as well as the extraneous uh, factor which uh, may decrease or increase these heat as well as light. Heat. The heat, as everybody knows, heat has their own bad effects that may be on your skin, as well as your body, as well as your any part of the uh, body. But what about the light? They say UV light. UV light is equally dangerous. It is equally detrimental to the health of the body and especially eye. As I am concerned, the eye throughout my life, I have seen millions of the patients and I have treated millions of the patients and many of them is with the welder eye. What happens to the eye once there is UV light attacked on the eye? They are generally called welder's eye. Welder's eye or in the technical term, this is photokeratitis. Photo is the light, keratitis is inflammation of the cornea. But this is mainly the welding effect which happens with the UV light on the cornea. In the most common condition in the globe is the effect of welding on the cornea. Now the cornea. Now we will like to show you the eye and its parts. As we have discussed the effect of UV light on the eye. Now I will like to show you the eye. This is eye. Here we can see the whole of the eye. This is the, this is the part which is not seen to you, not to anyone. This is the depiction of the eye once we uh, operate it or once we remove the eye from the eyeball. This is the whole eyeball. But here we are mainly concerned with the cornea. This is cornea, right? This is cornea, this is iris, these are two iris, and this is the lens. The most effect of this UV light is on the cornea. Sometime, although this light may affect this iris as well as lens, but the main concern is with the cornea. As, as we have seen it, this is whole cornea. This cornea has many layers, one, two, three, four, five. But the most effect of the UV light that to on the outermost layer of the cornea. This outermost layer of the cornea got injured with this light. And by the effect of this UV light, you will get what? You will get really a, a, a pathetic position for the uh, uh, user as well as the welder. What we get it? Red shot, red hot red and red nothing less than the red what next is watering throughout the uh, evening the the welder may be watering there may be pain pain may be mild may, may be very severe and next is 
There may be feeling. The feeling is something there in your eye. That there is a sand or something that too in your eyes. But there is no sand. There is no sand. Only, only the UV light has a has made the effect on the outermost cornea that is damaged, that is ulcerated, that is making impact on the cornea. So outermost layer may produce all these symptoms of reddening, watering, discomfort, pain, everything, everything possible. These are the temporary effects. They will go by their own. You may treat it, you may not treat it, but if, if, if they don't go by their own, then definitely see the doctor. In few of the videos of the Crexfeld, you may see uh, their home remedies for this corneal damage. Home remedies for the corneal damage. Uh, there we have discussed in detail about the uh, home remedies where there is no use of any medicine. But I am here to tell you something about uh, this cornea as well as the treatment. The, now, they may ask but whether this damage is permanent or this is a temporary. My answer is always this is 99.9% .9 is temporary. This may go by their own. You may just close your eye. You may get something uh, for the pain, something for the discomfort, whatever you are feeling. So, otherwise, but if, if the severity is more, if there is uh, more damage, you, do, you never know, there may be compromised cornea already, then the damage may be permanent. So better is keep a watch on your eye whenever there is a welder eye or there is a uh, photokeratitis with the welder. But be very careful because if you are not careful, you may lose your vision for the life. But I always suggest everyone, every welder, every user, maybe welder, maybe hobbyist, maybe anyone whosoever is using welding machine to use every possible precautions. We have discussed in many of the videos the what the precaution is. You may use um, uh, helmet, you may use uh, spectacles, you may take care of the environment, you may take care of the um, surrounding where you are welding, you must weld in the little open area, there may be ventilated area, there may be every possible precautions. There may not be anything flammable in your vicinity, your cloth must be uh, very uh, made of cotton and uh, you take every possible care of your eye as well as body because your health is most important. Thank you. Good luck.